I'm at my desk because I got to read a spreadsheet here. We got the Carrera releases. We got the Carrera price list for this year, for 2022. It's the UK price list. It's not going to matter. I think this is going to be what you'll see for uh, what they call rest of world releases. So maybe there's some Germany only releases that we'll find out about, but probably this will be the list that we will get here uh, in the U.S. as well. So what do we have? I'm just looking down here because as I'm reading this, I literally just got this. I got to look up photos that you'll see here throughout the video, at least some of it, but um, at least I get to tell you all what's coming this year. Uh, so for 2022, looks like there's one new analog set, a Mario Kart analog set. Now this is the UK price list, so maybe this is just in the UK. I doubt it though. Um, Mario Kart Evolution 5.8 meter set. Pretty decent size set, I guess. Uh, third quarter. The retail price on this looks like it's 160, 170 pounds. Um, work that out amongst yourselves. I don't do math. Um, so that's the only new 132nd scale set for analog. A carryover set is Supercars, uh, the Supercar set, which is a slightly smaller set um, that, was, that was actually slightly cheaper, evidently, according to this as well. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of carryover cars for Analog 132. It looks like there's a new Pink Pig RSR, number 92. There's a new 917, 935K3. Interesting. Both of those are Q1 cars. Uh, the Pink Pig is a Q1 car. I believe the Pink Pig... Well, that would be, yes, that, that would be a new decoration on the same car that they already have, I believe. Keep in mind, this is analog. So that's a, a, a 917 and analog this year. A 935K3, which I believe would be a new mold. Uh, what else do we have? BMW M4, two different versions of that. Uh, the M4. Once you th once you see that it looks like a beaver with those tremendous buck teeth on the front, you'll never be able to get that out of your mind. You're welcome. Um, we have the KTM X bow or crossbow, depending on how you're supposed to pronounce that. I'm sure people in the chat will tell me in the comments. Feel free, folks. I really don't care. Um, this is a new this is a new mold for the for them. It's a GT2 uh, liveries or GT2 car. Uh, I've seen some photos online of this car. Looks very good. So we have C8R pace car, C8R Sebring number three. This looks like the first two releases of the C8 for them. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, DTM Mike Rockenfeller number 99, BM uh, Audi. R5, RS5 DTM, by the way. Um, doing this on the fly, folks. <laughs> BMW M4 DTM, M Timo Glock. Okay, uh, BMW, or no, sorry, Mercedes AMG C63 uh, DTM, uh, number 22, Aston Martin Vantage GT3. Number 96, uh, Porsche 935, GT2, Pikes Peak, BMW M6, uh, the uh, GT3, RSR, uh, 911 Proton Competition, AMG GT3 Mercedes, AMG DT3 Mercedes, Artie R8, GT3, Man Filter Motorsport, uh, McLaren, uh, the 720S GT3, 
Audi R8, Le Mans Series GT3. A lot of new cars in 132nd scale analog, folks. Lamborghini Huracan GT3, Ford uh, GTY, I'll say it right, <laughs> this time, uh, number 52. That's a made-up um, body for a Mustang. It's kind of a what-if body, like if Mustang would be racing, I don't know what, uh, IMSA, I don't know. <laughs> um, two new liveries of the Ferrari 488 GT3. Red Bull AF Corsa, AF or, uh, sorry, Alpha Tauri, uh, AF Corsa. Very cool. Mercedes AMG GT3 Carrera livery. Uh, any interesting. Number 20, Paul Richard 12 hour. Um, so these next two cars, I believe this is another new mold. Mercedes 300 SEL 6.3 AMG, number 35 and number 31. Interesting car for them to do. Pretty iconic car. Uh, I mean, it's a natural for these folks to do this. So, yeah. I mean, this is a pretty... If you're into Mercedes, I really do like this car quite a bit. This is a mother of a car. This car is tremendous. I'm wondering if it's going to fit in the case. Um, it's very long. Four-door Mercedes. Uh, very cool car. Man, we got a long list of cars here. BMW 320, there's two different uh, Team Schnitzer versions of that. Uh, Capri Zaxby Turbo, a Jaeger livery on that one. BMW 3.5 CSL, uh, number 93 from Le Mans, 1975. Very cool. Coming up here, T2, two, uh, Tommaso, uh, De Tommaso Panteras. Awesome. Number 7, number 22. Uh, Ford Capri, 3100 RS. Uh, yeah, a Porsche Kramer, 935 K3, Jaeger car. Very cool. Build and race car number one, build and race car number two. Very cool. So it's the kind of Lego build and race. Yeah, whatever. I like it. That's awesome. Um, uh, the comeback of the 512 BBLM from these folks. Uh, the number 71 C Posey. Livery on that. And, drum roll please, a Torino, number 72, and a Roadrunner, number 25. And, and this is pretty cool too, a Mario Kart Mario and a Yoshi in 132nd scale. That's awesome. Um, what else do we have here? New accessories. Evo connecting track including one standard straight. Not really sure. A new connection track piece. Nah, it's pretty expensive, though. 55 pounds retail. That's uh, $70, something like that. I don't know. Again, never do uh, math um, on the fly. Yeah, so all of those releases I just went over are Evo, Evolution, Analog, uh, no release date on them. The retail price, let me make sure that this is the retail price that they're showing here. Yep, SR, SRP is uh, retail price, what they call it in Europe. Um, is a standard 49, it's 50 pounds now in the UK, so you all can work that out amongst yourselves. Um, that's That puts cars well over $60 retail here in the U.S., um, yeah, I've been saying this for about a year now. We're going to see prices go up and we've seen it. Now, what we got is digital here. We're going to go through, <laughs> um, this list is, that was a really long list of brand new cars in analog, by the way, that's interesting that they're doing a long list of cars in analog. Uh, it's a pretty long list in digital as well. Huh? Normally they don't do quite so many different di cars and analog they do more in digital because as we all know you can switch them from analog from digital to analog but you got to put in a chip to make go from analog to digital um two new digital sets uh race to victory i swear was one that was already released um and then peak performance 
These are eight meter, essentially, sets. One eight meter, one 8.3 meters. Um, pretty good size sets, uh, but two new sets. So for Q1, which means that they're going to have these cars available pretty soon, the 935K3, that Kramer car, it's showing it available Q1 uh, of, of this year. <laughs> And the uh, the nine the nine seventeen uh, kh, um, the number forty three, also showing Q one. There's no price listed on that, but the whoa, the retail price, um, retail price in the UK is seventy pounds sixty nine ninety nine. Figure that one out. If that's going to translate to US dollars. That puts uh, retail prices, again, um, I, I, I don't know off the top of my head, but the pound is, uh, you got to have more U.S. dollars to buy a pound. So that's going to be over $80 if that, if that retail price translates to the U.S. That's a bit spendy, um, but, you know, that's, uh, that's what you got here. Okay, so... I'm not going to go through all of the digital releases. I'm just looking down through the the price list here, and it looks like this is uh, looks like there's very similar releases that I already mentioned. Yeah, this looks like almost like the identical releases for digital 132 and for Evolution. It looks like the same cars that get released analog also get released digital, which that's good. Um, if you're a retailer, that kind of stinks because then you have to double stock if you want to stock analog and digital. It's a bit of a pain. That's why, in my opinion, the Skeletric uh, methodology for prices are better because you can make any car digital very easily by just popping in a chip. Uh, it's a little more fiddly with Carrera. I know, I know, I know. It's not that hard, but... Well, anyway. Let's look and see if there are new... Any new digital accessories that they're listing here. Wireless 2.0. Whatever that is. Set Duo 2.4 gigahertz wireless controllers. It's two wireless controllers and a wireless dongle. Wireless... 2.0 controller only. Uh, it says Q3 on those, so expect that to be at least Q3, probably Q4. Um, no price listed. No new accessories for figure and buildings listed as a as a new as as a new item. So it looks like there's no new scenery accessories. That's disappointing. It looks like there are no new digital accessories either, which is also disappointing because keep in mind, almost all of the digital accessories were made before I started at the company in 2010. So except the App Connect, okay, fine. Except the Check Lane, okay, fine. Except the Multi-Lane Start, okay, fine. But uh, lane change, uh, curved lane changes, I convinced them to do those. Digital pit stop adapter, same. Adapter unit, same. Position tower, same. Pit lane, same. Lap counter, same. Start light, which they still don't have break, broken to two words. And everyone thinks it's starlight, which was incredibly annoying when I worked at Carrera to correct people all the time because I'm pedantic like that. Um, control unit, digital chicane left and right, nothing new. Digital lane changes, nothing. Single lane straight, nothing new. So track pieces, uh, Evo digital 132 and 124. This is the list of just like standard track pieces. I'm looking over the list here. And build and race clips. Don't know what those are. Um, no release date on those and no price listing on those. 
That is literally the only new track piece listed for their, for their large scale for 132-124. Nothing new except Build and Race, which is the Lego equivalent thing, right? Let's do 124 scale in this video too. Why not? Uh, we got Start Your Engines. 124, new 8 meter set. Retail on that looks like it's 550 pounds, which is uh, probably well over $650. You all will figure it out and mock me with my lack of ability to do math, which I readily admit. Uh, new BMW M4 GT3, Carrera C8. Yes, two liveries in 124. Um, RSR Proton. RSR Golf Racing, be interesting to see if they get those here, because the last time, well, when I worked for them, they didn't have the golf license for the U.S. Ford GT, number 67, Audi RS5 DTM, again, this is 124 scale, AMG C63 DTM, BMW uh, M1, Capri Zakspeed, Jägermeister, 917, Daytona, uh, 24 hour, 1970, Lola T70, the uh, Ford GT40, number seven, interesting, and the uh, 458, which is pretty, uh, pretty, a few, it's, well, two generations old now, um, GT3, Team Sports Garage, number 52. So we have how many cars here? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen new cars for digital one twenty-four. Um retail on those again in the UK is ninety pounds. Figure it out amongst yourselves. That is well in excess of uh hundred hundred and ten dollars US. Again, see if the, let's see if the, these prices translate. We always had a little lower price that we were able to charge for a retail here in the U.S. And overseas, uh, the retail price on Carrera, uh, Carrera in general was quite a bit higher, which is why you had a lot of uh, U.S. retailers who would um, sell gray market back into uh, Europe. They made a pretty good, uh, pretty good living for themselves selling back into Europe at the uh, at the U.S. retail price. The re retailers would buy it and then ship it over, and the retailers here would make a nice profit selling back into Europe. And uh, Carrera hated that, um, and we always denied it, of course, because honestly, we didn't know exactly who was doing it. I mean, we had our suspicions. That's a lot of of digital 132 and evolution cars and what did i say 15 uh digital 124 cars one new digital 124 set and you know no new uh, the chips are the same for uh 132 124 there's no new accessories um really except a build and race clips pack of four it says um and just new uh, wireless controllers, which will be interesting to see what those controllers are. If anyone knows, feel free to email me, slotcarnews at yahoo.com. That's my email address. Um, yeah, so for, and that doesn't go through any of the 143rd scale stuff. There is, and I'll just look here briefly, yeah, there's a lot of one. There's a lot of small scale stuff. I'll do a separate video about that. I think that stuff's really interesting. Um, but anyway, folks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to filter in some photos here. But this is a brief, not brief at all, 20 plus minutes, um, just a flip through of probably what we're going to see here in the U.S. from Carrera this year. The highlights being. Uh, a new 935K3 Porsche, a new uh, Mercedes, the old uh, big boat, <laughs> the 
of a uh, of a of a GT car, <laughs> uh, Mercedes, and what else? Uh, well, they got a Torino and they got a Roadrunner in there, which that's great. I mean, two cars for the U.S. Again, let's see what Hornby is going to do, right, for Skelectric. Because what we got now is we got essentially, I mean, of course, and we got the, the C8s, sorry, the C8s as well. You know, the C8s, everyone's been looking forward to the C8s. So that's how many U.S. cars? Two C8s, a Roadrunner, and a Torino. Four U.S. cars, folks. Little stubby fingers. Four U.S. cars. Five, the Mustang. Okay, yeah, whatever. Um, Panteras. They're technically an American car. Seven American cars. Mario and Yoshi. Are they American? No, they're Japanese. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway... Yeah, uh, what do I expect to see? So if we only have, if you're being generous, there's only seven U.S. cars here, if you're being generous. Let's see what Hornby brings, right? I think Hornby's really going to bring the noise this year. I, I mean, I, I expect them to do 10 U.S. cars. And like I said, being generous, Carrera's given us seven. Honestly, they've given us... What, five? The Mustang, the C8s, the Torino, and the Roadrunner. Five cars for the U.S. No new digital accessories, another highlight. I'm going to try to throw some photos on here, but if I can't get all the photos, folks, I'm sorry. Just doing this on a fly. That's why I'm just shooting this with my phone at my desk here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember, you heard it here probably second, <laughs> but first in a video. First in the video. Cheers. <laughs> See you all again soon.